Well, I'd say the threat would be noise. The, one of the problems with the internet today is, for example, if you put uh, a search term in, you get so much information back, but it's not necessarily relevant information. So the more people that get on, the more noise there is in the, in the internet. So sifting the, uh, the gems from the dross is, is going to become more, more difficult. So I think really it's going to be one of finding what you need on the internet. That's the, as, the, as more people go on, as more services go on, I think that, that's going to be the real issue to, to, to tackle next. But the benefit, well, really the benefit is limited by your, your imagination. I mean, we're seeing some fantastic things coming up in the, in the realms of e-health, of e-education, of yeah, even e-agriculture. I think, really, it's just limited by our imagination. But to go back to threats, I think there is one thing we need to keep in mind, which is, at the end of the day, even though we're sitting behind a screen, even though we're dealing with mobile devices or, or you know, computing devices, we actually are catering to people behind those devices, and I think it's very easy to overlook that. And sometimes we, we just look at the technical side and forget that there's a whole social and economic, you know, tra even, even traditions, uh, cultures, sitting behind those screens that, that we need to take into account.